Hey, Tim and Gretchen from The Marvelous Adventures of TNG. From Doc, me, Jennifer, and Einstein, your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. See you in the future. Happy Monday night! Hello, friends. Monday! We are mustering all the energy we can today because... Summon the energy. We were at, uh, we were at Hollywood, Disney's Hollywood Studios yesterday, and the sun was... Oh, so very special yesterday. I think, you know, because it's it's a holiday weekend. So, yeah. and yesterday was also it Father's was Day. Busy. So, belated happy Father's Day yes. to all of the dads out there. Absolutely. Um, So, I'm sure you, you guys were doing barbecues and stuff. So, y'all out in the summer heat and hot. So, you feel us? So, yeah. let's choose our attitudes. Absolutely. And let's... We have a really awesome night and we came summon home. up the energy for some goodness. We got home like eight o'clock last night. We had some dinner and then like as soon as my head hit the pillow, she's on TikTok. She's like winding down on TikTok and I'm just I'm out. I was oh out. Gosh. As soon as my head hit the pillow. I woke up this morning and I was drinking my coffee and I go, honey, I have this this dream that we sat on the couch and ate pizza and watched the world according to Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, we did we that. We did that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, She was in oh. such a daze by the time we got home that you don't even remember ordering the pizza, do you? I don't remember ordering the pizza, but apparently I did about the Apollo Beach area yes. on the way home. Right. So. Yeah. so that way, by the time we got home, it was here around the same time. And, yeah. and so I'll, I just like woke up this morning and I had this dream that we were watching get Jeff Goldblum and eating pizza. And I'm like, that's when what, that's did right. this happen? Yeah. Yes, yes. Did the sky open up on us? Um, so... It opened up at one point in time, but uh, we were inside Toy Story Mania, and the ride had shut down while we were in the line. So we were in there for like, when we walked in, the marquee said it's a 20-minute wait. It took us about an hour and a half to get out. So it rained during that whole time, and we missed it, but we got drizzled on on the way out. But so I heard today... today I saw like, flooding. I saw yes, flooding in the stores. Disney Food Blog had posted they had flooding at the five and like at, at Disney's Hollywood Studios yeah. they had water coming, coming in, in the door the five and ten and yes. I'm like Ooh. yeah for real. We had some sprinkles, but it was sprinkles. like it was welcome sprinkles because <laughs> it was hot AF mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. So the little cooling mist from the heavens was completely welcome. I uh, yeah, very welcome actually. You know, though, actually, there's days where a rainy day at a theme park is it, it, a blast. If it's not pouring. Or even if it is pouring, but you're prepared for it. We have raincoats, like, if it's super rainy. Yeah, but, like, those ponchos. Those days, no, no, not the ponchos. We have the nice raincoats. Oh, they, yeah. And so they have the hoods, and they're big enough to carry the backpack, and they're big enough to carry filming yeah. equipment so we can continue. But for me, those days are so fun because you're covered and you're protected, so yeah. you're cool going, walking around. Oh, that's right. Rain. We haven't had to use them in a while, but they got, like, the the plastic like clear thing over there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. They're yeah, and they're super big. I got. I went on like um the the wildlife hunting people, yeah. and I was like, dear wildlife hunting outdoorsy. People, that's why it feels like you're. I a tent. require a bomb ass raincoat yeah. that's gonna be big enough for me to be able to put big ass backpack underneath, but fold small. <laughs> and they're like, dear crazy lady who doesn't understand outdoors. <laughs> This is what you need. Right. You can order them right here. <laughs> exactly. And I did. Thank you very much. Uh, so you've been busy. I have been so busy. Uh, this is just all that you've gotten accomplished since the last con. Yeah. These, these take time. They take about two weeks yeah. to make. So they, they, they take time. But I got a nice chunk. We got a nice restock coming up really soon. So uh let me go get let me go get my little flashy light thing real quick you know the funniest part about all of this is i say to tim make sure you have everything you need so you don't it's, have to get up it's right here and then every time he's got to get up and get something yeah. we're here for you people so so it was pointed out to me at the last convention that i was at somebody asked about the the drip the drippy uh, goop. goop 
around the ectoplasm. Yeah, yeah, because a big a big thing of my artwork is that hey, there's like black light reactive stuff to it. They're like, what does the gloop do? And I'm like, let's take a look. Gloop. And and so I don't know if you gloop, can, gloop, gloop. I don't know if it shows up on camera too well, but it does like this really radiant sort of glow under uv light yeah it's black light sensitive so and then that's really and then cool. it, they immediately bought it they're like that's amazing like it looks like it glows that's right so, and he's a guy that's why he does that right mm -hmm. so but look at the look at the glitter so it's got it's got green and purple color shift glitter and it's got the uv sensitive green ectoplasm and the tv artwork styled ghostbusters so that's, that's gonna go up on the website. How, how, what's the what's the size? That is a thirty ounce skinny. That's a thirty ounce. That's yeah. a heavy. That's, that's a, a big one. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, let's Hi see Mo, here. good to see you, my friend. Oh, this was a new uh, like new style one that you decided to put together for yourself. Yes. This, this, this is the sort of one that Gretchen makes, and she's like, "No, I think I'm gonna keep it for myself." I almost kept it. Yeah. But I can't keep them all. But I made this. I was like, I need a Miss Piggy tumbler. So I, I. But look at I, the glitter on this. Isn't like, it pretty? Look at how that shines. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the uh, the Ghostbuster one's gonna stick around for very long, for sure. The drip ones yeah. don't. The they drip go ones so go really fast. Yeah. So I really enjoyed Miss Piggy. Does this have some of the fifteen uh, vials of glitter? Yes, you it got does. Left? Actually, there is yeah. lots of holographic pink glitter and holographic like a mulberry kind of color glitter okay. and then some silver that's fun yes i really had fun with this one i almost kept it so because it is pride month yes happy pride like, month we're like how 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 can we celebrate that yeah how can we uh put something out there that uh also represents that and what better character to use? I mean, is there a different one I should have used? Because I feel like Rainbow Bright needed the to Rainbow have a Bright, rainbow. But look at this. This. I'm impressed with how you got these colors so separate. Thank you. Without blending. Thank you. That's a 20 ounce, um, and it's 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 not a limited edition. I will keep making them as long as, long as, as people, people want them. them. Yeah. Um, but it is, you know, Tim asked me to do something to celebrate the Pride Month, and I that's what I came up with, and I really really like it. I think it turned out so pretty. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. That's another one I kind of almost kept. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, and then, you know, always the Thank Sam. Thank you, Mo. I appreciate the, that. The Sam ones always go fast. But the Sam. special one about this one is the pumpkin glitter. In yes, there. I found some really pretty jack-o'-lantern chunky glitter. And I thought that was perfect for the Sam cups. So I'm and going the to. The camera is picking this up really well. Yeah. How how bright and vivid that glitter is. You know, I have been trying to buy better quality like base products so that I can turn out better quality pieces. And so I'm really really happy with how that one turned out. I like how it goes from like the fine glitter down to the chunky of. Yeah. Here. Like the, the top is still kind of glittery. I don't know. It, it's yeah. it is it's red it's fine red glitter like ruby slipper yeah. red. Yeah. I really have fun with them. And then because everybody loves these so and you every, need to as soon have, as they go up for sale, they're for, gone. For every for every one uh other cup you make, you need to be making two of these at the same time because they, they go so fast. <laughs> we got a new creature cup available with a glitter swirl here. My short T Rex arms can't yeah. do anything from here. So, so there's that one. Look at look just like look at all of this color up up there, like it, it does this weird chromatic thing. It's not weird. It's so it's so weird, Gretchen. It's so strange. No, you did a great job though. I like the black. I like the black drips. That works pretty well. Considering how green this is, because otherwise you would typically do green. Yeah, absolutely. But uh yes, Mora. Kermit on a rainbow. We could definitely make that an option. I think that's a brilliant idea. I, I like that idea. Tim. Yeah, the can we can we consider a Kermit maybe? I gotta figure it? out how to do that because his banjo is cut off on one end and like his arms cut off on the other end. Like Rainbow Bright is a whole co cohesive full character. We'll, we'll mull it over. I have a couple it, it's ideas. A thing. It's have, a thing. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. Yeah. I have a couple ideas of how you can make it happen and we'll spitball it later. Okay. Okay. All right. 
So, yeah, I, I think we might be able to make that happen, though. Uh, hey, Rachel. Yeah, I thank you very much. We are having fun with these. We I do take orders for cups. Um, they take about two weeks to process. Um, and you can submit a direct message to me somewhere or, oh, here, I got places we can go. Where we got? Right there. Right here. And down. I'm learning my technology. There you go. So I have my own website. It's Von Cupcake Emporium. And you can go to the contact me part of that and you can get me through there. Or, or where's my other one at? I don't know. What are you looking for? My, uh, my, uh, Instagram. All right, stop. You are so awful at this. You I know, really am. You can touch the screen. <laughs> you can always touch the screen as well. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh see, Let's you, get rid of that. we technology, there we're we so good at it. There we okay, go. guys. So you can also find me on my Instagram and you can message me there. So there's that. There's that. Yeah. Good job. Good so job. anyway, yeah, I had fun making these cups and I've got more coming. I actually just got three on the turner right now. They're really freaking cool. Yeah. So I can't wait to share them. Hey, June. What's up, buddy? The People's Champ. How you doing, my man? People's Champ. What's going on? I love his energy. I know. I, he's bringing that Monday energy that I'm June, asking for, June's guys. June's rad. June, June's a nice dude. Bringing the energy that I have asked for, and I feel it in I, my I soul. Need, we need it this Monday, yes. June. Yes. We really do. So thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, hey, Trey. There's Trey. Hello. That's, that's our nephew, and we love him bunches. Okay. So All right, but this is what y'all are here for. What do you for. think? You want to bust into it? Do you want to wait? Do you have anything no, else? No, let's do this. Let's okay. do this. Let's do this. So we. So this is probably. <laughs> this is maybe a month old. Okay. So don't be talking about on, eating stale treats, hold on, man. Hold on. You know they get backed up. So we got the new box, and I'm like, babe, this box is kind of light. And we're like, oh wait, there's the one that we hadn't opened yet. And this Whoops. one. This one's and got some weight to it. And being a chef, I said, oh, we need to rotate our stock. Hold on. Yeah, let's get the old right. one first. So um, so there we go. So we still got one out there. What's Trey saying to us over here? Um, Miss me. He says, miss yes. me. Yes, of course. Yes, we miss yes. you. Yeah, so, so Gretchen got me this shirt at Megacon, right? It's Ghostbusters Haunted Mansion one. But she has this Mario 3 or Mario World one that uh, you've literally had forever. And I haven't seen it in the longest time. I think I bought this t-shirt 25 years ago. Like literally forever yeah, ago. But I, it's been I, like I, packed away. Like I don't think you've worn that since we moved in this house five you years know, ago. You know, I have worn it. It's been on. It's been oh, on, has it? Yeah. You just don't pay attention. Uh, I know. But. Um, you have purple hair. I know, right? <laughs> Weird. Um. I have to be in a certain mood to wear this much yellow. Like it's such a bright, big energy color yeah. that I wear it when I need to summon my big energy. Absolutely. So this, if you see me wearing this shirt, know that it's because this shirt says, F yes, Mario, bitches. And I'm trying to hold into that energy. But if, if, if I'm not in that shirt, I'm probably still like that because I just, I'm a big ball. Right, so. right. Sorry. It's the Mario energy. So, Gretchen, what are your thoughts on Gordon Ramsay? I love him so much, and I would love very much for him to call me a fat donkey one day. She wanted it. So, she's a patient. I chef. would just laugh uncontrollably because I know what it's like to work in a professional kitchen, and words get spewed that you just wouldn't actually call somebody, yeah. but you're just so mad. She used to I have go. called somebody a six foot baby giraffe. I'm like, you, you, six foot baby giraffe. Get your ass over here and do these uh -huh. damn dishes, mm -hmm. you know? So I totally understand Chef Ramsay, and I would love to have the opportunity. She used to, to want to go on Hell's him. Kitchen back oh, in the day yeah. just so that she it. could have Gordon Ramsay just yo. Know, I would have loved it. I love it because mm -hmm. I, I understand. I understand. Anybody who's worked in any kind of professional kitchen, just that's a whole world onto itself. Uh -huh. And from outsiders, they they think, oh my gosh, he's being so right. <laughs> no, he's pissed because he's got a lot going on. He's got a lot of focus. And it's it's uh -huh. it's intense, y'all. Uh -huh. That's why I'm so sassy all the time. That's why I have so much palate cleanser. <laughs> what about idiot sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> He would never call me that because I'm a, I'm a goddamn unicorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it just wouldn't happen. So. All right. So we okay. don't know where these treats are from. It's a blind box. Like they, they essentially tell us in an email that we never check. I don't open so, the emails. Yeah. Actually, they haven't really been saying, but I still don't open the emails yeah. just in case I spoil it for okay. myself. So 
Let's see where we're going, guys. All right. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're going to the UK. Okay, that's exciting. The United Kingdom. Now, uh, these cards that they have, uh, they sometimes have a little bit of trivia about the area. But then there's also a rating system that after we go through all this, we'll post on our social medias. Yes. But look at this guy on the cover, though. That's going to be us after we eat all of this oh, stuff. We're going to be right there. fat and sleepy. So this booklet here also has some trivia, some facts. It's a very fun educational box while you are getting the description of the stuff that you're this actually This is eating. a really cool thing for like families to do. Totally. Together. Yes. Yeah. We really enjoy it. Oh, look, I have a pin. I'm on top of things. Ta-da. All right. So every time we do these, though, we do fill out the scoreboard and we post that on our Instagram. So be sure you're following us on Instagram so you can know what we think. About I mean, it's almost like I, I mean, just said that, right? right? It's almost like I just, just, totally I say just that? said that. <laughs> It's almost like you're not here with me. I've had way too much Mario energy. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, that's amazing. I have issues. With Hoping for some Marmite or Vegemite. What the Vegemite was uh, Australia. Yes. That was a whole Marmite, thing. Marmite. Yeah, Marmite is is the uk yeah version yeah yeah i actually have had that was a whole before. thing remember the whole australia thing we pissed off a bunch of we australians did. we made a lot of people we made a australia. lot of enemies in australia they really think we're just they, a couple jackasses i think they literally <laughs> called us effing stupid americans yeah in, I think in one of the comments i think yeah. somebody said it's not effing ketchup yeah <laughs> right right I love it. Uh, I am that. looking forward to the new TMNT game, by the way. The uh, the Shredder's Revenge that just came out. All about it. Well, so, all right, then. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Well, June asked about it. I so, know. Okay. I saw him. I'm, 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 I'm like, all, all right. right. I actually just now learned of it just now. Yeah, it's almost like our arcade cabinet, the side scroller beat em up. It's a whole new 8-bit uh, game they just made. Oh, like for like your PlayStation? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm thinking, uh -huh. dear Lord, is he going to buy another freaking arcade machine? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, Let's start. Okay. Are you ready to uh, Let me give you a piece of trivia real quick. Give me a piece of trivia. Multi, multi. I want to visit the UK. We have lots of friends in the UK. This is a multi-answer uh, question or it's a... Um, multiple choice. Multiple choice. That's what they usually yeah. call it. So, so feel free to answer in the chat here okay? okay okay when in wales don't be surprised if you hear a friend call you is it love but like b-u-t-t -T, <laughs> nosy or c-w-t-c-h switch 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 it it it's c-w-t-c-h like what is what is this word? What that's is, that's a word. Switch. What is that word? So if you're in Wales, don't be surprised. So you're like, hey there, love, or you're like, hey there, but, but. <laughs> or you're the hey there, nosy, nosy. Or, or hey there, hey there switch. <laughs> I think that's exactly what it is. Right. Okay. okay. So what do you guys think? Mm. Uh, love, but, switch, or nosy? A B C or D. What are these trivia questions? Yeah. These are that, that's an odd one, right? Um, I'm gonna guess i feel like the obvious would be the switch uh, right because it's so very it's so off the wall yeah but i'm gonna say nosy nosy what up nosy <laughs> no switch <laughs> <No> sw <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one perfect <laughs> right i like it I like it. Nosy love. Trey says nosy. Yeah. Uh, Anne says love. Kind of love. All right. That does seem I mean, very I think, British. I yeah. Feel I, like I feel like very, I very feel like nobody's United walking people. up to anybody's like, "What's up, butt?" Like that's <laughs> especially B U T T. Well, right? we are now. Okay. Okay. While you're likely to hear friends and even strangers call each other love in England. There are no buts about it in Wales. The best way to tell your friend you care about them is by calling them butt. But why? <laughs> well, back in the industrial era, Welsh miners were paid by the amount of coal they would extract. Oh and God, so used amazing. the buddy system, B-U-T-T-Y, butty system, uh -huh. uh, to increase their productivity. Uh, to fully appreciate Welsh culture, 
we recommend that you find your bestie right now in a minute, meaning soon, not actually right now. Uh, <laughs> give them a switch, which means hug, by the way. Oh. And tell them you care the Welsh way. So you are the biggest butt in my life, by the way. I I mean, I can't I can't express that enough. You are such a huge butt. You know, the best I... part about this is that I also find you to be quite a ridiculous I mean, butt. I mean, if if I were to you are an extra if I butt. were to measure you in the amount of butts in my life, you would be the biggest, hugest butt in my life. If if I were Tina from Bob's Burgers, <laughs> <laughs> I would love you most. Yes, of course. But good job. Good job. Can we have a All right. snack? Let's now? go into the snacks now. Can we please yes. have because this pink bag is staring at me? Ooh, twirl. And I am dying to oh god, wait a minute. This show, is a terrible idea. You picked idea. it. Show the show the camera. Twirls, potato snacks, prawn cocktail flavor. Prawn, oh, isn't that shrimp? Prawn cocktail uh swirls. Scottish crisps with a saucy twist. Ooh, like a Rod Stewart saucy twist. Ever wondered why French words pop up in the English language? As an island, Great Britain historically relied on goods imported from France. Oh. Such is the case with Ours de Boers. Okay. Brits put their own spin on France's pre-dinner tradition in 1860, and soon prawn cocktail was born. Not big on shrimp? Not to worry, there's no shrimp in these. The zesty sauce flavors the crisp. Bon appetit. The zesty sauce flavors the crisp. Okay, these look like raw pasta. They do. They look like uh, they look like Taco Bell cinnamon twists before they get fried. Yeah, they look like raw pasta. They kind of smell. Are you doing two? Strong. Are, are we doing two? I'll do two. Okay. They smell kind of strong. Woo! Yeah, they're they're a little like they they really open up the nostrils. This place really opens yeah. up the nostrils. Yeah, they there's there's not much there's a there's a powder on them. There's not much going on. Otherwise. No, Mora. No. Oh my God! Don't you put that juju on me? No. That's awful, Haggis. Everybody loves shrimpy butts. Everybody you know? loves shrimpy butts. I think everybody loves everything but the butts of the butts. shrimp, right? The tails. You know yeah. what? Everybody likes butts. What can I say? Right. Okay, let's try this 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 thing. Okay, ready? You're really starting us off with a bang here. You know that, right? All right, here we go. Um, why do they taste like Pringles? I don't really. They definitely taste like a chip. They definitely they taste, taste like, like they taste like they have like the texture of like plain Pringle. potato Pringles. Yeah, they kind of have almost that oily kind of tech flavor to it. Very crunchy. Yes. Here's your ASMR. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of other flavor. Otherwise, like I, I, I think I'm picking up on what they might. I like don't a, taste prawn, but mm -hmm. they do taste a little like shrimp cocktail sauce. Okay. All right. So maybe that's that's what we're supposed to be. I tasting. thought I thought these were going to be rough, but they're actually not bad. They don't smell very good. Why did I just go like a bite of sweet? So uh, not that long ago, actually, that's wasn't weird. it wasn't it Anne that made us get the shrimp lays? I think it was like shrimp chips. What kind of shrimp chips did you was make? It, wasn't it like shrimp lays that we got That in? were so freaking offensive. And those were just disgusting. Those were awful. But this isn't... These aren't bad. Yeah, surprisingly not enough, it's not bad. They're not bad. I, these are a pleasant surprise because they smelled funky and they looked really, really hard. Like that bag stinks. But yeah. the flavor... It's like pork rinds. When you open up pork rinds, <laughs> it's you have rough, to like... Right? Yeah, it's rough, right? Yeah. When you open up, but they're delicious. Yeah. These are in that category. Okay. All right. And now I get the pink bag because it's just me shrimp. <laughs> yeah. You know, it reminds me that's like I give it to, you know, Pepe the prawn. Right. The king prawn. King prawn. Yes. All right. Grab, okay. Grab something else there, baby. All right. What's on the top? That's on the top. Yeah. Let's do something over here. The, get it on the bottom there. Yeah, let's fish around. Let's do this thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh that is a millions. That is a oh, this looks like a mess way. That is happen. a mini black currant chew. 
So I'm interested at the black currant flavor. Here's here's the subtitle to this. Oh, it's got us. Okay. Legalized after nearly a hundred years. Well, you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. There are a million reasons to visit Greenock. Uh, one, Look at these little guys. one being the Millions Candy Factory, where these black currant chews are made. Okay. What's a black currant, you ask? I would guess a berry. It's no surprise if you're unfamiliar with this sweet and sour flavor. I'm Ooh, a pastry it's, chef. It's got sour, babe. I know exactly what a black The is. berry was banned in the U.S. in 1911 until 2003. They look like nerds. Uh, why was it kept from us for so long? Basically, the berries turned out to be harmful to the native pine trees. And so this uniquely British flavor never had a chance to catch on until now. Now, now is your chance to finally get a taste of this forbidden fruit. Oh, I thought it was like a candy bar. They look like nerds, right? They look like big freaking nerds. <laughs> These look like big freaking nerds. So this was an invasive species. I don't know if they're going to be really, really hard. You might want to be very careful. This was an invasive species that was literally killing the foliage. The foliage. Okay. So um, why don't you eat just a couple? Like, no, they, you're, good. Good? you're okay. good. They are sticky, though. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. I feel like I've had this flavor before. It's like... It's like taffy. It's like Laffy Taffy. Yeah. With a candy coating. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have had a big mouthful. Oh, it's crab lays? I think we had the shrimp ones otherwise by ourselves. It was terrible, Ann. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel I've had black currant before. Black currant and a snake bite. It's lager and hard cider with a splash of currant. Okay. So I've had this flavor before. I can't tell you where. Maybe in a drink. This is very tiresome. My jaw hurts. This is very tiresome. I don't think I can talk anymore today. I'll slow you freaking down. Man. Okay. These are, um, these are okay. Yeah. But if you want to go by like monetary value, I'm going to have to swallow it. This is like 10 years of candy chewing. Like you're going to, this is like a jawbreaker. Like you're, you're going to be uh, eating this piece of candy for a yeah. long time. Yeah, we definitely. So we, if you want to get a lot of bang for your buck. We just took like a little palm full and that, that. I was chewing for 10 years. Took a while. Welcome to the Tim and Gretchen Chew Things yeah. show. Maybe we should start an ASMR channel. Just like... <laughs> it's just us going. They're stuck on my freaking teeth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. But that was a nice palate cleanser. I it thought was. The, I thought it was like a, a nice tart. So that, that, that definitely really cleansed fun. the palate after having like the prawn flavored chips. Which, I like it. You know. All right. In 2000, here's multiple choice again, guys. In 2021, Scotland made world history by being the first country to include blank in their school curriculum. Was it A, computer programming? This is 2021, by the way. Okay. A, computer programming. B, civil rights studies. C, LGBTQ plus education. Or D, bagpipe theory. <laughs> I, I like, want to take a bagpipe like, theory class. I Sign like me up for that. It's such a stereotypical thing. So in 2021, they made history by including one of these things in their curriculum. All right, what are they again? Was it A, computer programming? Mm, that seems a little late if it was 2021. B, civil rights studies. That would be a good fair guess. C, LGBTQ plus uh, education. Okay, that or, seems also a fair guess. Or D, bagpipe theory. Mm, that's gotta be the one. You think so? That's gotta be the one. No, truly, I, I would say- I feel like the only one not, like if you're taking it seriously, the only one not, uh, Civil rights studies should have been around for years. That, so yeah. I'm going to guess the, the LGBT. LGB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, what I'm going to guess. I feel like that's the only new thing. Like, if you're talking about serious education, that's the only new Current thing. Current things. Yeah, yeah. Maura's there with me, too. Yeah, so, yeah. I, so that's what we think. Okay. So I don't know. What do you guys think? If, if you want to let us know, we'll give you a second to ring in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It just, it, that's the one that know, makes though, the most like, sense. 
Bagpipes. Bagpipes bagpipe are pretty theory. freaking cool. I don't know of any uh, music education program that is uh, giving bagpipe theory. So I mean, that's there's you know because you got to do the arm mm -hmm. and then you got to do the 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 recorder. You know, so well, you're you just know, doing you know, this all the time. Yeah, right. But then you also got to handle the little the little meatly meatlies down here. <laughs> so it's meatlies. like there's uh, a the, lot going that, on. The actual woodwind part of it. Yeah. 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 So it's like you got to be. You know, blowing in the in the flute, you got to be squeezing on the bag, and then you got to be hitting the middly middlies on the bottom. That takes a lot of coordination. Yeah, and Anne says definitely bagpipes. Yeah, definitely. I uh, see. Anne and I are right there. I feel like I've justified it already. Okay. So, so what is it? Starting in 2021, all Scottish public schools are required to cover lgbtq plus topics in their curriculum that's awesome including current issues identities and history the goal of the law change is to promote further equality in scottish society and reduce bullying of adolescents that's awesome uh it's a massive step forward for scotland which decriminalized uh homosexuality in 1980. that's awesome yeah good for scotland that's great I don't know why. I, I I just feel that that like Scotland was the first one to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like it should have been had been. It, it should have been a, bi a bigger like uh, world power. Yeah. You know, Scotland is a pretty cool country. Yeah. All right, All right let's try this. Are you want to try something else? Yeah. Okay. Let's have this one on the front. This one looks fun. Okay. Okay. First of all, this looks like you remember that. Um, Remember that Saturday Night Live with Dan Aykroyd where he's always like, Bag of glass. Bag of glass. It's a bag of glass. Kids <laughs> it, love it. It's, it's, a, it's, it's the a, iconic one. It's a, it's a. Kids it's, love the bag of glass. It's the, it's the bag of nails and rust. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. You open it up, you throw it on the table and the kids have fun. <laughs> this guy on the cover, just for some reason, reminds me of his character. It doesn't look like him, but that's the vibes I get. So this is Johnny's. It's a pickled onion ring. This it's is Johnny's onion ring. Johnny's pickled onion rings. Okay. Kids love the Johnny's pickled onion rings. So you're sitting at the bar. So you're sitting at the bar. Enjoying a pint. And you're having a pint. When the bartender sets down a snack. When the bartender sits down a snack. What do you think it is? Johnny's pickled onion ring. <laughs> Good guess. Good guess. It's a jar of pickled onions. Uh, yep. These little balls of malt vinegar goodness are a UK. I think it's supposed to say staple. Not ah, stop it. St it's a stop. Uh, <laughs> just as iconic as Yorkshire pudding or fish and chips. You know what's really funny is why did we go like New York or New Jersey? Because you were talking about bag of, bag of glass. Bag of glass. That's Dan Aykroyd's typical like. That's his accent. Yeah. That he yeah. On. I mean, he's Canadian otherwise. And you're just like. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's a bag of glass. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Much love to Canada. Uh, an essential part of a plowman's lunch. Ooh. A meal consisting of bread, cheese, and pickled onions. <laughs> uh, they're one of Britain's most beloved foods. In fact, you'll find these many you'll find many pub goers munching those zesty pearl onions Ooh. straight out of the jar. Johnny's pickled onions. Straight from the UK. What does it say? Crying out with flavor. <laughs> That's its, its tagline. It's crying out crying with flavor. Crying out with flavor. Right. Johnny's pickled onions. Am I taking two? Yeah. I like to eat things in pairs. Okay. All right. Very uh oniony. They look like little funions. But they but they do smell there's a strong pickle Whoa, flavor. There's, strong there's pickle. a strong pickle yeah. flavor. I'm a little disturbed. So it's like pickled funions. Ooh, like you get the scent of both onion and pickle out of that bag. So Whoa, that opened up my nostrils. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no sinus issues right. today. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god, these are delicious. So very light and fluffy. They're like soft and crispy so at the same time. They're the they're the oh, equivalent man. of like those cheap cheese puffs. So it was like long cheese puffs. <clears throat> The, like the, the ones that used to come in a like a well, plastic bucket, plastic tub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like and they kind of like melt in your mouth a little bit. Like I, I, I barely. These have a lot of flavor. Like I'm kind of choking on the pickle flavor a little bit in the back of my throat. It's but... a very strong pickle flavor, but there's like a little bit of a funion thing in there too. Yeah. Wow. 
but it's a it's a piercing flavor. You know, this is perfect for those thick I just, UK ales. I, and I stuff feel though. like I could light a match with my breath. Like you know, like when you drink your um, when you drink in beer at the UK Pavilion, and it's very heavy. Yeah, these would definitely cut through that very nicely. They make my mouth water. Yeah, listen, that is super strong, and it really kind of bites my throat a little bit. But they're kind of good, I would, though. I would devour a whole bag of this. It's, this is like eating pineapple, where it eventually starts to hurt your mouth. Yeah. You keep eating it because yeah. it's so freaking good. I if, if we had a big bag of this, I would devour it. So both of these, the... Uh, were they're made, winning on their crunchy snack. Made by foods. a company called Golden Cross. These are delicious. Um, those okay. will be. Those will not make it tonight. Those you will know, be gone. Um, I think. I think if we took like one of each of these and ate them at the same time, that's it. Oh, okay. Let's try it. I was gonna wait till later. Let's, no, let's, let's give let's it a go. Do it now. Go for it. Let's do it now. Okay. Give it a go. Let me know what you think. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> nope. Oh, it doesn't work. No, no, I'm glad I did. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad I didn't do that one then. <laughs> that I'm glad I left it up to you. Nope. <laughs> Gonna pass on that? That's a no from me, dog. But I'm like really curious now. Nope. I'm gonna try it. You're gonna do it? I'm gonna try it. Because right. I'm really curious now because I feel like it would work, right? I'm gonna do what you did. Okay. There we go. Copycat. Ready? Yep. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad, right? That's just a really bad <laughs> that's idea. That's like a special kind of shitty. That's just that's, that's bad. That does not blend. Yep. Yeah. So, individually, definitely delicious. Ooh. Together, that overwhelming pickle flavor with that shrimp flavor yeah. is just kind of like... That's exactly what it was. It's, it really... So, it oh, violates. So the pickle really did bring out the shrimp flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you, I just now picked that up now that you said that. It really picked up that flavor. But like and that was funky, not, like artificial not shrimp. Not good. Yeah, yeah, it's like shrimp with like a S-K-R-I-N-G. <laughs> It was some scramps. <laughs> some scramps. We got some scramps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny St. Louis thing to us living in St. Louis. Representing to our hometown. Lived in some ghetto areas, and you'd get people walking up, being like, mm, "I think I want some of them scramps." <laughs> you got scrimp tacos? Yes, we got scrimp tacos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's try something else. Oh, because that sounds better. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Rhubarb and custard bonbons. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Foolishly juicy chews from Crediton, a place called Crediton. Okay. Okay. In England, few desserts are as fancied as the fool. Okay. Uh, now, don't go thinking Brits run around licking clowns or anything like that. That's what it I'm, says, I'm, right? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what, what was that? What is it? Is that... Re now, don't go thinking Brits run around licking clowns or anything like that. I did not think that. <laughs> but okay. So, to be fair, the last description had a lot of typos. So, I don't know if that's a typo. So, they look like little balls. In, in Britain, fool, or more specifically, fruit fool, refers to an extremely popular parfait-like dessert made from... Uh, made of alternating layers of custard and boiled fruit. The most popular version uses boiled rhubarb, a unique veggie with tangy berry-like flavor. Uh, in this variety of fool that uh, inspired these juicy chews. Uh, juicy chews. Juicy chews. Beware. They may make you wish your fave candy were a little bit more foolish. Okay. I think now rhubarb's not one of the um the things that I tend to gravitate towards. Did you show how I, I colored did. they are? I did. They're pretty. Okay. They're yeah. They kind of remind me of like old lady candy. Okay. These would go into like you know they're, the they're, candy dish they're, and die. They're firm but not hard. I can I can squish it. These are it. candies that grandma puts in her candy dish and it just yeah. lives there forever. Don't eat the candy. Yeah. Right. But it's there for, you know, for company. Yeah. <laughs> so cheers. cheers. Very chewy. Oh. Well. It's definitely got that tartness to it. Um. It's kind of confusing. Yeah. Okay. 
because I don't know what it is I'm, I'm tasting. I know I've had rhubarb pie. I know what rhubarb tastes like. Uh, okay. It has, like, I don't taste any custard. It, it's a, it, it's really, they love I their think, chewy stuff in no, the UK. I, I think the custard is supposed to be more of, like, the texture of it, not the flavor of it. There, what? What? That doesn't even make sense. It's, um, it's difficult to eat. Uh. It's, uh, it's like a super chewy 10-year-old sweet tart. Yeah, I. That was found in the bottom of your car, and for some asinine reason, you pick it up and eat it. I kind of don't care. Like, I. It, like, lives in the back of my mouth now. It's one of, yeah, I'm still chewing on it. It's yeah. one of those things that, like, I definitely wouldn't go get myself. Um. I'm thinking Listen. That for their sweets, they must like not have. Remember, they're that be like maybe they don't get to like have fillings and stuff because all of their sweets are chewy as hell. Maybe I'll have to work on that. I think I might have to work on a my facial reactions. <laughs> I cannot control what my face does, y'all. All right, once again, okay. I'm just gonna have to swallow this. Jeez Louise. Okay, it, it does. So listen, so well. if a game between chewing those. And licking clowns, I would probably still chew those. I still don't know where that came from. I don't know either. But we'll go with it. We'll go with it. All no right. clown licking. Multiple choice. Okay. <clears throat> Which of the following? Another one of these while we do this. Okay. Let me taste it again. Which of the following practices was banned in Northern Ireland? Okay. Was it A? Now th these are banned things. Okay. All right. Uh, was it A? Skipping down the street in Belfast. Was it B, going to the movies on Sunday? C, shopping after 6 p.m. on Sunday? Or D, helping the elderly cross the street? Banned items. Which one of these is banned? I'm going to say skipping. A, skipping down the street of Belfast? Because, I, you know, I, there's a lot of stupid laws. Like, you can't carry an ice cream cone in your back pocket in, like, right. I don't know, Jonesboro, Arkansas, right. or some crap yeah, like right. that. Okay, so Gretchen says it's A. I'm guessing. What do you guys say? Skipping down the street of Belfast. There's B, going to the movies on Sunday. I can hear some fun police being like, stop skipping! There's C. Uh, Take it. You're not allowed to do shopping after 6 p.m. on Sunday. Or D, you are not allowed to help elderly cross the street. I, I, I A close second in my mind would be the shopping one. Yeah? Because that's, you know, like... Okay. I, I mean, mean there's those skipping I feel like skipping those down antiquated beliefs and things. I feel like know? skipping down the street is like one of those old ones. It's like you're in the <laughs> way of the horses. Get out of the road, you know? <laughs> right. Some some mayor somewhere had got had some kids that like slowed him down in, in, in the in the roadway. And so he's like, No children will be skipping in my town. Let me write a new law. So Morris says shopping in for six. Uh -huh. You say skipping down the road. I say skipping down the road, yeah. Let's see if anybody else wants to throw in an answer real Let quick. Let us know real quick if you want to throw your guess in for the, I don't know, thumbs up and brownie points. So yeah. there's that. All right. Um okay. What is it? Because of the law creatively named the cinema's order of nineteen ninety one. It was made illegal to go to the movies on Sundays unless you have a special movie watching license. A movie watching license? Those that break the law can be fined up to 50 pounds or about 65 US dollars. But don't worry, the quote, no movies on Sunday rule isn't strictly enforced. And so the Northern Irish, Irish people may view as they please. So it's one of those old timey laws. It's the ice cream cone in your back yeah, pocket. Yeah. But from the that's a footloose town. But this is 1991. If I have ever heard that, that is a footloose town. If I have ever heard that, why dancing wasn't allowed in the footloose town? They can't it's, watch it's, movies. It, it is wild because it's only 30 years ago, 1991. You shut your mouth at 91 was 30 years ago. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, it's not it's not 19 you know 42 when kids were skipping school or you know not going to Bible study or something like that. You know. Those antiquated beliefs. Yeah, that's a wild yeah, one. That is crazy. All right, give okay. us another one here. Let's try something else. Yeah. All right. Well, we just had the sweets, so let's right. try another selfie. Now this looks like basic bag of chips. 
All right. This is Piper's Cheddar and Onion Crisps. I like that, crisps. Do you have what it takes to be a cheese rolling champion? Hell yeah! For over 200 years, Brits have gathered for the annual cheese rolling festival. All right. The rules? Yes. A wheel of cheese rolling down the hill. Okay. And the first person to catch it wins. Ooh. The prize? The wheel of cheese, of course. Score! The, I would love to have a These wheel cheddar of cheese. and onion crisps may not be the ideal shape for rolling, but they sure take a lot less effort to enjoy. Okay, so I, I just cut open the bag while you were reading. Yeah. I got inundated with cheese smell. I'm in I'm in. Can you smell yeah. it? Oh yes. They are super, oh, yes. super strong. Now these just look like regular old potato chips. So right. yeah, they they look just like regular plain old potato chips. But, oh my They're god, thick. my mouth is watering. They're thick. Like they smell so good. They smell just like they smell like craft mac and cheese. So they're kind of uh in between the thinness of a Lay's chip but the thickness of a Pringle. They're kind of like a kettle chip. Yeah. That's what they kind of remind me of. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah. Let's I feel like they should have I some mean, dip to them though. I am all Oh, they smell it. so good. Again they smell with the dip. So good. Everything's better with dips. Okay, right, cheers. cheers. Ah. Mmm. Wait a minute. Okay. They start off really good. They don't finish so nice. They kind of have like a slick slickness to them. That didn't go as I thought. They do have a firmness of kettle chips, that certain crunch of a kettle chip, but um, there's a lot of onion flavor in there. That's that. That is what it is. Onion. Yes, I'm there's like a lot of onion. In my flavor. head, I was thinking, oh, it's I'm gonna need one of these uh, Johnny's pickled onion rings to kill that. In my it, head, but the onion flavor doesn't come out until like you're halfway through the chip. So that's what threw me off because in my head I'm thinking cheese chips, right? Mm -hmm. And then the onion, I forgot all about the onion flavor, and I think that's really kind of what threw me off. You want to try another one? Not really. So the cheese part is absolutely delicious. They started out really good, but then like as you're chewing it, the onion flavor starts kind of right. rolling in. So so and it like takes over, and then it's kind of like the oil from the chips kind of just stay on your tongue. So kill it with one of Johnny's wow. pickle chips. Woo. Holy crap. Johnny, Johnny's got your cure. Um, I do not like the onion flavor on these whatsoever. The onion flavor was very strong and I think I also forgot. Chris said it went from yummy to wait a minute real quick. Yeah. You know, some of these chips and these treats do that. They start off really good. And my mouth is the, just watering. Yeah, the, the back. Yeah, the, these things. These, I'm going to be rehydrating myself. I'm 100% efficiency ready. These guys here. strangely make you salivate a lot. They just really to, do. Just to counteract the uh, pickle flavor on We're that. We're just going to sit here and just drool. But um, they start out really good. They, they, I, smell, they smell awesome. Delicious. They smell awesome. But that back end uh, onion flavor when I'm it comes out. I'm still probably going to eat them. I don't think it, it doesn't taste onion to me. And it's just. It's, you just don't like onions but I, either. I, You're not the, a fan of onions. Well, that, and the, but the texture, I love the texture. I love kettle chips so much. And, and I love the texture of these and the initial flavor of the cheese. But the back end is just, it's a failure for me. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. Yeah. I'm okay. sorry. Read me another thingy so that you can console me. Okay. All right. Trivia question number four, multiple choice. Okay. What is the name of Britain's most famous clock tower? If you don't get it, you're fired. Fired. All right. Okay. A, the clock tower. That sounds about right. B, Big Ben. Okay. C, Elizabeth Tower. Or D, Victoria Tower. Britain's most famous clock tower. Not the biggest clock tower, the most famous clock tower. Right. The clock tower. Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower, or Victoria Tower? Well, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Shout it out. Um, So, like, my my initial reaction is to say Big Ben. That's oh, my thoughts. Right. But right. these things like to throw me for a loop. You're not wrong. And I know there's things like Vic Elizabeth Tower, right. and I know there's things like Victoria Tower. Right. 
that might actually be more famous in the UK. Yeah. Well, we only okay. think Big Ben because he's in Peter because Pan. It, well, Big Ben, and it's like the when people go and they see the, the a tower, it's always cinematic. Big Ben. It's always that one. So that's what it my is initial not action. the most famous one though. I will eliminate that right now. Big Ben is not the most famous. one. I haven't read yet, uh, so I could be talking on my ass. But... All right, Kristen says B. What was B? Um, Big Ben. Okay. Okay. Mo guesses Big Ben. Or she says Big Ben's a nickname. Can't remember the real one. Right. Well, that's just what he goes by. That's his preferred name. Okay. Right. What is it? You may have thought this iconic clock tower was Big Ben. You may have thought that. Okay. All uh, right. But that name only refers to the big bell inside. Oh. If you guessed the clock tower, you were actually pretty close. Believe it or not, this was its true name up until 2012. When it was renamed to Elizabeth Tower to honor Queen Elizabeth Seconds Diamond Jubilee, okay, which is her 60th anniversary. Which one did she just have? The 75th, which was Platinum Platinum Jubilee. Wow. Yeah, uh, the tower stands opposite Victoria Tower, named after Queen Victoria and the only other queen to reign as long. So, Elizabeth Tower, that's really awesome. Yeah, Kristen says she's not educated on those towers. The woman named Towers, <laughs> the woman named Towers. <laughs> well, you know, I actually I, I love the royal family. She is obsessed with I the pomp it. and circumstance I of the it. royal family. She's like it. she's like such and such is visiting. Don't even care. Windsor Castle today. Don't even care. I love it. I yeah. love I love it. I love them all. I love the royal family. I think they're awesome. I enjoy I enjoy I know watching you do. Them, so what uh what uh princess was the queen? Or what princess got married that you were up at like 2 a.m. watching? Oh, I, when I watched Will and Kate get married? It was like 2 a.m. American <laughs> time or something like that? No, it actually started like 4 a.m., but you have to watch oh. all the... It's like it's like when you guys plot the, the, the pre Super show. Sports Call. You gotta watch the pregame yeah. stuff, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. It's just the thing I like to do. Yeah. She's all about it. She, she keeps up... She keeps tabs on all of them. She's like, such and such is in America. And I'm like, cool. Well, I don't keep up with the Kardashians. What's Prince Philip doing? He's super dead. <laughs> That's no, Prince, terrible. Oh, no. no. <laughs> no, it's the one that got in trouble with the... Uh, oh, uh, Prince Andrew? Prince Andrew. He's laying low. If yeah, he knows Prince what's Andrew. Good for yeah, him. Yeah, he he's, he'd disappear if he yeah. knows what's good for <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, oh right. Okay. If they you can tell I keep tabs if, on him. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> if they gave Elizabeth a clock tower for the diamond jubilee, what did she get for the platinum? A uh, whole freaking like she got party. three more. She got three more months of life. <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> Kristen's over there dying. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, Matt's in South, South America. America. Hey, what man, up, what's up, dude? I'm having some palate cleanser. Yeah. I think it's like the last. It of is it. just about the last of it. She's been putting it in her good. coffee. I do. I put it anywhere I can fit it in. Unless I'm going to work, then I don't. Put it in that <laughs> one. But when I get home, I'm like, give me a little nip in there. <laughs> All right, let's try another treat uh, yeah. before we just uh, devolve. Pick, pick something madness. sweet. Pick something sweet. Okay. After the suck ass chips. Suck ass chips. One pounders. We're like seven years old. We're wine, wine gummies, the one pounders, one pounder, wine gummy, Scottish candies with a gypsy twist. Yeah, a toast to, to Scotland, land of fine whiskeys, hearty beers, and five vineyards. Ooh. Okay, we admit this. Oh, this is potent. The Scottish are known. Ooh. The Scottish aren't known for their wine making prowess, but that doesn't mean they don't know a good bottle. Are they shaped like bottles? They're shaped like, oh, they're cute. This one says Roja. They've got different types oh, of wine okay. names on them. Let's see if I can hold it properly. In fact, claret was once considered a symbol of Scottish pride. And for all you non drinkers out there, you can enjoy these non-alcoholic wine flavored this is gummies. Port. Port. These are cute. Oh, like, oh, they're different wines. So are they are they flavored this after? Is, 
Chablis. So I'm guessing they're flavored after those. That would be my names. guess. Uh, I can't leave that one because it's a gummy. Oh, well, anyway, yeah, they all say different things. All right, give me, give me two randos. Okay, give me that one, and I'll give you two of them that say port. Okay. Well, no, I want two different ones, babe. Oh, okay, let me give you that one. There we go. And I'll okay. take this one, and I'll take this. So I have one that says port and one that says roja. I have one that says port and one that says chablis. So they're cute. They look like little. I'm gonna try them one at a time. Yeah, you don't want to mix so wines. This ain't, what's that movie where Paul Giamatti drinks the wine bucket where everybody spit in? What was yeah, that, Sideways? Uh, sideways. Yeah, this ain't Sideways. We're not doing that. That's go. gross. Okay, right. let's try one first. Oh, wow. wow. Those are hard. What is up with the gummies, United Kingdom? I'd show you. I'm not going to because it's gross, but my teeth haven't even made a dent in it yet. <laughs> suck on it it's fine kind of like a pill okay these taste like old dried up chewies chewy fruit all right let me try if you let your bin, if you let your gummy vitamins sit out too long and then you come back to it a couple hours later and it's like wow I have to... i'm trying a different one yeah so i choked down the roja i'm gonna try the port now these Hold are on. like. I gotta wash that down. <sighs> Maybe because these are like a month old. What is the port? Kind of like a lime one? It does taste slimy. I didn't think port tasted. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had port. I've had port wine and cheese. Does that count? Look at that. It doesn't taste like port wine and cheese. Um, mm -hmm. They're not bad. They're not bad. These, um. Maybe it's because I'm not. A I big can't chew them. I'm not a big gummy fan, but um, like I like chocolate covered gummy bears. Those are delicious. Oh my gosh, Steve! What's it's up, living, buddy? Living in my teeth. Oh, hey, Steve! What? Well, we're having so much fun suffering through this welcome hard to, ass candy. Welcome to the Tim and Gretchen Chew Things. <laughs> it's our new ASMR channel. Hmm. Goodness Lord. I'm convinced there's not a good gummy out there any longer. That's tough. Like, I am choking on that. Okay. My jaw hurts. That Like, from all these... So, what is up with the UK's candy? Can you have something uh, that doesn't want to rip your uh, jaws apart? No wonder you guys are so angry all the time with your teeth. Like, your teeth clenched. Because you, you've got candy in your mouth, and, and you can't chew. So, so, I feel like this is a bag that is just historically, like, one pound. Like, that's how much it costs, you know? Yeah. It's so, like the dollar bag. It's, yeah, it's like, like the Arizona it's like, tea. It's like this is what you get at the Dollar General. Like you want candy? Go we to the got, dollar we store. Got British dollar store candy. Dollar store candy. Yeah, the flavors weren't bad, um, but it was just trying to. Did actually... you know? I actually recently posted this meme on uh, Facebook that said that dollar stores in the UK are called one are <laughs> called pounders. <laughs> yeah. And then I giggled for forty five minutes, yeah. and I was like, "We're yeah. not mature enough for this." Yeah. You no. get those at pounders. No, wasn't it called? Uh, it was pounders. No, it was uh, it was pound. It was like a poundville or something like that. Because oh, because someone said in the United States we have pound town. Because <laughs> it was poundville, right? I want to say it was pounders. Pounders. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But poundville is pretty funny too. So this, it, we've devolved mm. into madness, guys. I'm sorry. This is what happens on Mondays if we've been in the. Summer. We told you we're tired. Okay. This is, Don't act like we're this a little is... punch drunk. You're just gonna have to be enjoying the freaking show, folks. <clears throat> That's how we do these things. In 2001. Give me some of them onion rings. I need. Don't eat them all because I want some. I don't want the onion rings. Okay. Um, in 2001, the UK named blank its national dish. So. Was it, this is going to be from 2001, this is the new UK national dish. Okay. Was it A, shepherd's pie? I like shepherd's pie. B, fish and chips? I love fish and chips. C, chicken tiki masala? Meh. Or B, beans on toast? Where's the spotted dick? I knew at one point in time it was going to come up. I knew at one point in time it was going to happen. Because I'm 12. Yes. Um, I'm going to say fish and chips because that's what we get every time we go to the UK Pavilion. Okay. So that's like the first thing I want in the whole wide world is fish and chips. All right. So 
Uh, Petri. <laughs> Petri dish. All right, guys. So in 2001, the UK named this their uh, national dish. Once again, was it A, shepherd's pie? Okay. B, fish and chips? Okay. C, chicken tikka masala? Okay. Or D, beans on toast? What do you beans think? Beans on toast. Uh, that sounds terrible, too. Ooh, to all of them, but I'll say D because it sounds random and terrible. Beans, Beans on, on toast. toast. Yeah. Okay. Wait one second for you guys to. If you want to chime in, let us know. I um, I'm gonna guess fish and chips, and also now I want fish and chips. Oh yeah. Now now I'm, I need to have that. So that's one of those things that I could have anytime. These good old fish and Truly, chips. Truly, they're so. Yeah. It's like I will go to like a. We have a lot of great seafood restaurants here in Florida because we're right there on the Gulf Bay. Yeah. But damn, if I don't get a fish and chips, yeah, like for real. I, I, I love me some fish and chips. So the answer, are okay. you ready for this? Yes. Is uh, not fish and chips. Well, damn. Okay. While fish and chips was a hot contender, the country voted chicken tiki masala. Really? As its official national dish. Believe it or not, the spiced curry was actually invented in Britain. And the story, as the story goes, a restaurant guest received a dry chicken dish and demanded a gravy to accompany it. So the okay. chef quickly prepared a sauce with tomatoes and spices, and it's been a hit ever and, since. And the rest and is history. Since 2001, chicken tiki, tikka mar, masala is the national You can't dish. even say it, let alone order it. How do you, how do you, oops. In the tiki, 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 tiki. No, it's not tiki. Room. It's I know. I was just, it's I was, tikka. I was just saying. Tikka masala. I'm going to tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. I got your chicken masalas right chicken here. Chicken tikka masala. All right. I'm not a fan of that dish, so that's really unfortunate. I'm just going to keep getting my fish and chips. All right. What do we got right there? Oh, this looks what, like what dog is, food. What is this thing that says lamb and rosemary? This looks like a bag of dog food, Okay. Like, does this not look like you go and buy? It's like the bougie bags of dog food. So it is lamb and rosemary crisps. Oh no! The bite-sized vacuum seal. The bite-sized version of the Sunday roast. Oh no! Some people claim British food is bland, but we say that notion is rubbish. Case in point. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Case in point. Sunday roast. Hmm. <laughs> So bad. Uh, this smells like ass. The ultimate comfort food. <laughs> the ultimate comfort food consisted of juicy, slow roasted meat, potatoes, veggies, and a rich gravy seasoned with herbs. As the name suggests, it's served on Sunday with the leftovers being eaten throughout the week. Hungry yet? Good. 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 Nope. Because now you get to try this lamb and rosemary crisps that were inspired by the iconic. This dish. smells like dog food. This is if, if you open up a can of Alpo. That's ro that's the rosemary, isn't it? No, this is the lamb that you're smelling. Oh my it's kinda, god. It's kind of stingy. It's bitter. It's it hurts. It hurts my soul. Yeah, I know. I wish we had smell of vision, right? Oh, man. Yeah. This is good. This is gonna be bad, bad, bad. No, like, just uh, Steve, all you gotta do is go get you a can of Alpo. <laughs> Open it up. Take a big whiff. Take a big Take whiff. Take a big old whiff. And you're right here right. with me, my friend. Right here. Okay, stop waving the bag in my face. Ooh. Put it down. Put it. Put the bag down. <laughs> Get away from my face. <laughs> Get away from my face. <laughs> I got to have that. Okay, ready? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not ready. Come on, let's have the dog food. <sighs> I didn't see you jump into it. I have to work up to Yes. It. I think about yeah. it. Yeah. My brain is like, no. These smell so bad. You smelled bad. it. You oh smelled it. God. Why do you want to... You know what dog crap smells like? You're still not going to put it in your mouth. Definitely not going to do that. <laughs> oh, God. These just, they smell. Take a breath. <sighs> Take a breath and then, ready? Here we go. On three. Okay. One. Yep. Three. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I will say they taste better than they smell, <laughs> but not by much. You definitely taste the rosemary, which is the saving grace here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Why? Because when I put it in my mouth, I'm like, oh, it's not bad. And then I get the full, full flavor of everything. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, that's exactly what bad. I smell. It's still bad. That's exactly what I smelled. 
um, because I I considered it for a second. I was like, oh, well, oh. let me try one more. Let me try one more. <laughs> you go ahead. I got I gotta give it one more shot. No. Yeah. Here's the thing. They're so terrible. So, oh, here's the thing. Okay. No. Swallow that and then let it sit and soak in that disgust. I can't get it out of my it mouth. It leaves like a... I can't get it out of my mouth. It leaves like a, a lingering tang. Yeah, I can't. Like I'm drinking a carbonated water. Like here. I was chewing on the lamb fat for a while. And um, we're a trim the fat kind of person. Like we like to cook with the fat, and then we cut it off. We don't eat the fat. That's like I put a big old mouthful of fat in my mouth and just was like, mm, mm. "This is mm. this is delightful." I need. I I'm I'm. Are you almost out of a palate cleanser? I dude, I am. It's I I even got my thirty ounce because I was like I'm gonna need yeah. a lot. That's all right. That's You're gonna all right. have some of my carbonated. Right. I got pick. I got Johnny's pickled onion rings to oh, kill that, anything. If right. I need some that's moisture, for, that's for sure. We'll take one of those and I'll get everything swollen right. again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Jesse says we. Hey Jesse, please Jesse. Hey Jesse. More black currants. That's a good. That's a that's good idea. Let's that's not a bad idea. That's, that's a, because that is a really good palate. I like cleanser. the way you think, Jesse. So just eat like one. That is a really, just, really good just palate eat cleanser. Like one. I'll eat like two. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you, Joshua. That actually works. That's good call, you. Jesse. Jesse, you're my hero. This furry friend is not only adorable but also a highly decorated hero. Ooh. All right, multiple choice. Who is this? Furry friend. Was it Swansea Jack the dog? Swansea Jack. Okay. Yeah. That and sounds like a furry friend name. That was A. Is it B, Will of Wales the war horse? Um, no, but I do know what that is. Is it C, King Pother the cat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> King Potha. Or is it Riverside Psy the sheep? Okay. A, Swansea Jack What's the dog. What's the question? Okay. Then? This furry friend is not only adorable, but a highly decorated hero. Okay. Okay. A, Swansea Jack the dog. Okay. Will of Wales the war horse. Mm -hmm. C, King Pother the cat. Or D, Riverside Psy the sheep. I'm going to guess Will of Wales, the war horse. That's my guess. Malik Adventures, hello for being here. Hello. Thank you. Uh, I still have a lot of, there you go. He's got some waiting for you. Oh. There you go. All right. Let's see here. Um, I like weird tasting stuff. All this sounds great. It has <laughs> uh, definitely been 50-50. That's for sure. The Universal Yums Box is really cool. Um, you should totally get one. And you would enjoy all of this weird stuff. Okay. All right. So what is it? So this highly decorated furry friend. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Swansea Jack is definitely the goodest boy we've ever heard of. Aww. This heroic pooch was the self-designated lifeguard for the rivers and docks of Swansea. Okay. Whenever someone accidentally fell into the water, he would swim to rescue them, saving more than 27 people in his lifetime. Wow. In his seven years, Swansea Jack was awarded a silver collar, a silver cup, two bronze medals, and the title Dog of the Century. Wow. I'm impressed. The silver cup. I love how they honor. I love how they collar. honor their little their little four legged troops with a silver I collar. Mean, he did a lot. He's a hero. He's a hero. Heck well, yeah. Kudos to that. Right. That sounds lovely. Okay, pick something you else. Want to try something there. else. Yeah. Okay. Oh look, these this has the this has some potential. Hey, that looks like it has a cookie on this it. This looks like a cookie. We like cookies. These are Grandma Wild's oat cookies. Oat biscuits. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. The UK don't eat cookies. They eat biscuits. Crispy, crumbly tea time cookies. All right. I like tea time foods. The UK has no shortage of tea times. I, I enjoy that. There's a light snack for 11s, a pre-dinner meal for afternoon tea. They don't have a smell. And, of course, high tea, whose name comes from the tall tables it was served on. 
So when we say these oat biscuits were designed for English tea time, we're basically saying you can eat them anytime as long as there's tea. This chip bag. We don't have any tea. This chip bag is all up it's in my It's tainting the smells of the good stuff. This table smells like a fart. I can't live like this. Okay. Okay. So these are specifically designed to be have, had with tea. These look like digestive biscuits that you like old people eat when they like they needed help with that digestion. Yeah. So if you've ever had like an oat cookie, you you've had something like this. This is it. It smells just like dried oats. Okay. So I want to have high hopes for this. I do love a good oatmeal cookie. I don't think these are going to be like Wookiee cookies at no, Disney. No, they're World. not. They're not. You can already tell they're not as sweet as sugary. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's right. see. Yeah. So... There's something like this in America. They're kind of like the little shortbread cookies. Yeah. It's more of a shortbread than an oatmeal. Yeah. It's like a shortbread with oatmeal in it. Yeah, okay. These are actually pretty good. They would be good with coffee. Yes, definitely. Um, or tea, I guess, if you're in Otherwise, the I mean, I think we've all... I, I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> buy a bag of these just for snacks. Yes. Yeah. I think we've all had something like this before. Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing spectacular about it, but it's not bad. These are definitely what you would have at like a tea service. Yeah. For fancy people. Okay. I'd have snickerdoodles at my tea service because I'm not that fancy. Yeah. You know what? They're kind of dry. Mm -hmm. So, mm hmm. Oh, I bet these would be good with some of them fancy teas that smell, taste like vanilla cookies and crap. Oh, like fancy flavored yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. Was that it? That was it. There's just two of them. Just two. There's are okay. I'm not offended. Not bad. Not bad. They have a um. <clears throat> they have just a basic flavor. They're definitely like digestive biscuits. They're not really like. Ooh, get some. Let's have some cookies. Here's a Tower of London question for you. Okay. Multiple choice. Okay. Six blank are kept in the Tower of London at all times. Okay. okay. Six. Is it six A magpies, B candles, C Bibles, or D ravens? Mm. Six of these are kept in the Tower of London at all times. A magpies. Aren't those birds? Mm -hmm. uh, B candles. Six candles. C six Bibles, or D six ravens. What do you guys think? Mm. I'm feeling one of the birds. I feel like they're for like messengers. Yeah. But it could be candles too to represent things. Like, I'm not an expert on the UK. I do love the UK, but I'm not an expert. But yeah, I feel like that would be a plausible thought too. Mm. Tower of London was built when? Was it was it King James time? Like, um, a long time ago. Um, well, I'm just thinking of Bibles, like. You're, you're stretching that. I don't know. Okay. What are you looking up? Kristen, Kristen says Bibles as well. Oh, that's the Tower of Terror. <laughs> no, the Tower of Terror was not built in King James time. That was built in 1991. Yeah. Well, it auto-corrected for me. Oh, of course it did. And being me, it was probably the Tower of Terror. Um, yeah, 1066 by William the Conqueror. Oh, okay. So way back when. Um, <clears throat> I feel like birds would fly away or be pissed if they were stuck. Would candles burn out? I think they would relight them on a daily basis. Yeah. They okay. would, it wouldn't be like an eternity flame or anything like that. That's so, my guess. I'm going to say candles. Okay. Okay. So King Charles II believed six ravens must reside in the tower or else it would crumble. His superstition stuck uh, because today the tower is occupied by Jubilee, Harris, Grip, Rocky, Aaron, Poppy, and Georgie, Aww. a seventh raven, just in case. Uh, Georgie is the seventh raven. Okay. Just in case. Uh, babies Edgar and Branwen are also waiting in the wings to fill the spots in the future. So it's like a prestigious thing to get yeah. to be one of the ravens. Yeah. So they probably have a lovely... I know that there are actually people who live at Tower of London, and they are like guardsmen, yeah. and they live there with like sometimes with like 
you know, there's like a girl on TikTok whose dad is a guardsman of the Tower oh, okay. of London. So she likes to go out and like show what it looks like, you know, when you live at the Tower of London. All right. So they probably have bird cages and caretakers, Kristen. They're probably not just like sitting sitting in there by themselves. It's like a drippy just old like it's a functional Yeah, area. well yeah, just in case one passes on. I mean they're birds. They don't live forever. They live eight years you know yeah it's the superstition that you always have right. to have at least this many ravens yeah well and ravens are used in in all those folklore things yes important things. absolutely so that's really cool that's interesting yeah. that was an interesting factoid so we only have one more but we'll have another snack and we'll go back to our last and question. bt dubs this also came with a yum bag okay yum bag the, the yum the yum bags tend to be like they can either be really awesome They're usually little candies they can yeah. Either really awesome or really terrible. We've had some awful, Ooh, there's some awful that things. Seems really hard in there. Okay, right. okay. But I'm excited. I'm looking at this thing, okay. and I think we have a winner here. Oh, did we save the best for last? I think we saved the. This is Grandma Wild's chocolate flapjack. Chocolate flapjack. It's a tender oat cake from a traditional Yorkshire recipe. Okay, I'm excited about this. We're on our way to Yorkshire to have flap flapjacks, right. and we're not talking pancakes. Oh. You probably think of flapjacks as another word for pancakes, but in the UK, there's something completely different. Okay. Tender, buttery oat bars. Okay. Ooh. Made with brown sugar and syrup, sometimes slathered with a soft toffee, or in this case, a decadent layer of chocolate. Okay. That looks awesome. Oh, it's nice and soft. Look at that. Oh. Look how gooey that looks inside there. Th now, this is what I'm talking about. That looks. Uh, and this is really soft and and. It looks like a. It looks like a peanut butter bar, but I know it's not peanut butter. Um. Okay. The smell is it a little bit bland. It smells like a fig Newton. Smells a little bit bland. It smells like a fig Newton. It's a delicious chocolate flavored topping, but they didn't say it what. Said, it says buttery oat bars made with brown sugar and syrup. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. So, you know when you go to the gas station and get one of those little Debbie chocolate brownies? The off-brand ones? The, the ones that has like four little like nuts on top of it, you know? That's the texture of these. Mm -hmm. But. You taste the honey. The flavor isn't bad. These are nice. It's, it's, it's nice. That's a good word for it. It's nice. There's nothing... Like amazing about the flavor. I would not eat it if it was on my plate. I love the texture. Mm -hmm. I really love the texture. Mm -hmm. But um, this is nice. It's got you definitely a, it's got a you definitely get the sweetness. cookie texture. You definitely get the sweetness out of it. The chocolate I could give or take. It yeah. doesn't really do anything for it. Yeah, cosmic brownie. Yes, yeah. yes, it is definitely that's, the texture that's what of a it cosmic is. brownie. Yes, yeah, good call. I couldn't think. This of is more of a cosmic blonde. Listen. I just want to point out that I'm really impressed that you remember the name of that. She has a kid. Oh, that's they probably right. have yes. cosmic brownies okay. in their pantry. So good. Okay, good call. Yes. All right. I like this. I'm not mad about them. Yeah. This is the best sweet that you could have brought mm -hmm. so far. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. That doesn't taste terrible. Um, you read this last one. Let me, okay. let me finish this. Okay. Northern Irishman Hans Sloan is credited with the invention of. I got I got a cookie. <laughs> I got it. A, caramel apples. B, pumpkin spice. C, chocolate milk. Ooh. Or D, soda bread. Northern Irishman Hans Sloan is credited with the invention of A, caramel apples, <clears throat> B, pumpkin spice. Oh, he'd be like Jesus to you if he invented pumpkin spice. C, chocolate milk. I like chocolate milk. Or <clears throat> D, soda bread. I'm going to say soda bread because I feel like that is such a, a Irish addition. Irish soda bread's a thing. Yeah, I feel like that is such a thing, right? Yes. Christian's guessing D also. I, 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 yeah. I mean, I guess caramel apples are also a European thing. Um, truthfully, I was thinking, so a lot of times I get like 
Irish and German beers mixed up. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking, oh, I think I've had soda bread with like an, a German beer, but no, I've had soda bread with an Irish beer. We've had, so, yeah, like at Finnegan's at yeah. Universal Studios, yeah. they have an incredible Irish soda bread and <clears throat> you always get that with a beer. So I think, really I think, I think, I think I'm going to say D on that. I'm going to agree with you. I have to read the part that has the answer, but I'm going to agree. I think it might be D. Okay. Okay. So Northern Irishman Hans Sloan credited for the invention of A, caramel apples, B, pumpkin spice, C, chocolate milk, chocolate, chocolate milk, milk, and D, soda bread. All right. This is... Oh, C. Sloan, a student at UK's National Academy of Science in 1687. She called it right when traveled you, right to when Jamaica. You said it, right when you said it. Okay. She, yeah. wow. Traveled to Jamaica. As the story goes, he noticed locals drank cacao with water, which made him nauseous. I think you Googled it, Mora. I think you Googled it. He mixed it with milk instead, not only inventing chocolate milk, but setting up the invention of chocolate milk. Like setting up the invention. Yeah, yeah, so, the whole process of yeah. it. Thank you, Hans. Thank you. God bless Hans Sloan for the invention of chocolate milk. God I'm, bless Hans Gruber. I wonder, <laughs> from your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> you know, I wonder though, like seriously, like when it comes to things like that, the chocolate milk and stuff, what would he have thought of like, Stuff like Nesquik that came in a can. It would have been like, blasphemous. Would he have been like completely disgusted or he'd been like, I like what you did there because Nesquik's delicious, but that's what we had growing up. Also, I, I feel like their version of what they think chocolate milk is is definitely not what we're drinking nowadays. No. You know what I'm saying? Oh, or like <clears> the, <throat> the chocolate milk that at the grocery store comes in like the gallon. Oh, that, that thick. And it's so oh, thick God, that you, it's so like. Good. It's like you know you're drinking carotid arteries. Yeah. Like it's going yeah. to stay there and so die. So good. That, but that it's a sweet, thick. sweet mm. death that I'm welcoming. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's, that's definitely not. Uh, you know, you, you know when Gretchen is having a bad day when she comes home with one of those and be like, it's been a bad day. And then I give me some of that special palate cleanser and I stick it in there and that's heavenly. Nothing about this statement surprises me whatsoever. Kristen's drinking you who? Yeah. Story of her life. Yeah, right. But you is you who considered chocolate milk or is See, it like if a, I always thought you who was, was like, like a chocolate, chocolate water. water. That's what the Jamaicans were drinking. They yeah. was drinking you who. Yeah. And then he's like, "This is what gross. Is, what is the, delicious? I'm what does it say? What does it say on the bottle of the you who, Kristen? Does it say chocolate product? It says or? chocolate flavored drink. I yeah, believe, right? Because I was like, what is a chocolate flavored drink? Oberweiss dairy. Yes. yes. Oh, they don't have overweight. We don't have a, yeah. a thing but, like that. But here, we used to get that delivery in St. Louis, and that was good. We used to get a thing of regular milk and a thing of chocolate milk and some eggs. And we had yeah. like, it was like old school. It's a milkman show up to the door. You'd get like a cooler from them, and, you, yeah. and they, you'd put it on your porch the night before. And at like four o'clock in the morning, the milkman would come, and you'd get up in the morning and you'd have your milk in there. We're not talking milk. old timey stuff. Like, this is like no, 10 years this ago. This was like 10 years ago, and it came in glass bottles and yeah. it was the most amazing it service in st louis missouri and we don't have anything like that down here or i would be getting it because no. that was um, I, I never drank so much milk in my life i know as to when we had overwise because yeah. it was so good so all right all we got left is this yum bag we got the yum bag this just it's it's such a gamble it's such a risk like it's is it gonna be good is it gonna be terrible we don't know uh, i think it's gonna be there's lots in here though. Oh wow, there's lots of stuff in here. So Wait. first of all, so what's the other stuff? There's multiple things in here. It's right here, baby. Yeah. No, this. It, 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 there, there, that's it. That's that. And then if you turn the page, there's also that. Oh, okay. There's multiple things. Gotcha. In here. Gotcha. He was confused. Things are hard. Holy crap. That, okay. That's way more than it. These are going to be really hard. I. I... So pick up the toffee looking ones. Well, they're both toffee. <clears throat> These. Okay. Because this one actually says toffee on it. So this one okay. is a vanilla clotted cream fudge. Okay. I like clotted cream. This is um, hard. They look like little caramels. They look like. Taste of the UK's famous clotted cream. We're here to, her, headed to oh Devon. Okay. Uh, gasp, the controversy. You see, two Ooh. two England countries, Devon and Cornwall, both say that they invented clotted cream. Okay, so these just look like car caramels that you get yeah. and melt down. Uh, this is a decadent fudge. 
So you're trying the Devonshire version of it's clotted like, cream. I'm going to break one in half for you because they're very big and yeah. they, they like their chewy stuff. Mmm. Oh, these are good. So, not the flavor, but it is the consistency of candy corn. Mm hmm It's that kind of gritty, um, but... It's fudge, so it's got that it's got that sugar grit. Yeah. That cooked sugar grit. It's the consistency of candy corn, mm -hmm. not the flavor. It's very caramely. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like Dolce de Leche. Although that's a whole different country. Mm. But that's what it reminds me of. We had me. that before. Yeah. Yeah. Here, try another little bit. We had that in one of these good. boxes. I think it was a Dolce de Leche cookie we had, wasn't it? Mm, probably. Yeah. These are delicious. When I get old, when you get old, you need to get these to keep Listen, in your pocket to give to kids. Not a popular opinion, but I like candy corn. I like candy corn too. It is candy, and I don't want to hear otherwise. Get out of my stream. <laughs> you have not had candy corn until you've had the right candy corn. That's right. So you have to have good, fresh made candy corn, not old, stale crap that you get at the grocery store. There if is, not there is <clears throat> bougie gourmet candy corn. I guarantee you. Carl Bissinger in St. Louis, Missouri makes an amazing candy corn every year. And I used to get it. I used to get big bags of it. Yeah. That was the most incredible candy corn I ever had. On Halloween, so the old lady that would give you like three candy corn with like five pennies wrapped in tinfoil, she didn't get you the good stuff. Okay. Yeah. She didn't get you the good stuff. You got to get the good stuff. Don't get that old stale stuff that's yeah. been in a box all the time. Right. That's the difference. Hey, Lauren's here as well. See, I love, yes, hey. I love candy corn. See, that's why I knew I liked mm. you, Lauren. That's because candy corn is like crapped on all the time. Right. It really is. Peeps are like that too. All right. This one, how do you say that word? Treffle? Treacle? Treacle toffee. So I know they eat treacle tarts <clears throat> and treacle toffees in uh, Harry Potter. Okay. This is a sweet and sticky English tradition. Okay. In England, toffee is just as iconic. <clears throat> toffee is just as iconic as, dare we say it, Shakespeare. Oh, I love Shakespeare. But how did this classic candy come about? In the 19th century, England's Caribbean colonies produced extra sugar, which uh, sweet, savvy Englishmen combined with butter, creating slabs of hard, chewy toffee. This is a little chewier, it looks like. Luckily, this luscious toffee is ready to go in bite size um, and are fit for sharing, or maybe not. To quote Shakespeare, to share or or not to share. That is the question. That is that is a paraphrase. Okay. That is not what Shakespeare so said. So this looks very much like the Devonshire so stuff. I thought this was really hard, but once I yeah. pulled it out and broke it, it, it softens up. Its interior looks very much like the stuff we just had. This is more of a caramel than a fudge, though, because yeah. I can actually pliable. work it it's and pliable. buy it. Like, if I sat here long enough with you people, mm -hmm. I could, like, mold this into a flower. The other stuff was uh, crumbly. So Yeah, this is definitely right. a chewier. I was Stop making a flower. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Mm. But it doesn't get stuck in your teeth like all the other things do. This is yummy. But, okay. It's not bad. But the flavor mm. of the other stuff was way better. This has... Well, it's a different... Yeah. This one was... It's still caramel, but I think, you know, we've all had different versions of what caramel flavor is. This is a less sweet. Mm-hmm. It's got a little bit of a, it's like going down my throat. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it in the back there. <laughs> it, um, it's um, it got a little bit of a burnt sugar taste. Yeah, okay. But it's nice. Like that like that sticky bun burnt sugar taste. That's what this has. It is really pleasant. When I get old, these are what I'm going to keep in my pocket. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these now. So in 30 years, I can give them to my nieces and nephews. Be like, here, Auntie Gretchen has a candy for you. <clears throat> you better eat it, you little shit. <laughs> I got a couple questions for you. Okay, okay, give me time. Fact or fiction? Okay. Uh, Victorian edition. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, between seaweed scrapbooking and wearing birds' as hats, the Victorians had... Ideas. Seed scrapbooking and wearing birds as hats. Victorian people, Victorian era people had a very different time, uh, idea of what a good time is. They know how to party. Um, below are some popular trends of the times. Okay. See if you can guess which ones are real and which ones are fantasy. Okay. 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 Picnic, picnicking in graveyards. 
Was that a Victorian thing, uh, fact or fiction? I think that was a fact. It was. Uh, special graveyards called the Magnificent mm -hmm. Seven were made just for that purpose. Okay. Hat pin dueling. <laughs> um, I would say it's not a fact. You're correct. It is also fiction. Okay. All right. It gives some uh, little answers there as well. But um, using lemons as eye drops, fact or fiction? That sounds like some shit they do. I say fact. Three for three. All right. I read a lot of books that take place in Victorian London. Tea drinking contests. Fact or fiction? I would say that's that didn't happen. Wow. I see four for four. Nice. But these answers are upside down. She can't read these. I can't see them. I'm not looking. Uh, communing with the dead. Fact or fiction? Absolutely. That was like the dawn of that era. Yeah. That's when that's when all of the uh, the um uh, the seances and yeah. stuff kind of started yeah. coming about. So. Yeah. Victorians were obsessed with supernatural. Can't, you can't tell me nothing about the goth life. We live the Victorian London era. And many believed it was possible to communicate with the dead. Bird. Even famed Sherlock Holmes author Sir, Con Can Sir Arthur Conan Doyle got caught up in the fad. Yeah, it was very trendy. Mummy wrapping parties. Mummy wrapping parties. I'm going to say that was not a thing. It is a fact. Oh, I it got was one a wrong. Thing. It was a thing. Um, let's see here. Oh, that would be about the time oh. when King Tut was found. Oh, so. how we wish this wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> Victorian elites were caught up in the craze of Egyptomania. Egypt. And no yeah, holiday, about the time when King Tut was found. No right? holiday was complete without an actual mummy as a souvenir. Yes. Uh, wearing beefy face masks. Beefy face masks. Like for beef eaters? Like the, like the guards, um, or like full of meat. Uh, or like meat, a very be, uh, like made of beef. A face mask made, made of, of like, so Lady Gaga wasn't the first to wear right. an outfit of beef. Fact or fiction? Fact. Uh, yeah, fact. That sounds like some crazy shit. Put doing. down the mud mask and pick up a meat mask instead. Many people believe that the raw beef or lard was the secret to a healthy glow. I put, butter, I put buttercream on my temples. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I'm over there with the buttercream on frosting <clears throat> cakes. I'm like, mm -hmm. fishing with toffee. Okay, they would do that. Yes, mm -hmm. you're saying fact? That's fiction. No? Yeah, I missed oh. out on that one. Oh, well. Facial hair competitions. I think sure. that's where it started, right? Sure. I'm going to call fact on that. No, whoa. <clears throat> you got it wrong. While many men sported beards and mustaches worthy of a gold medal, competitions didn't exist until the 1900s. I took a drink of your bubbly water. All right, last I one. Was snacking. Last one. Okay. Fact or fiction? Fiction. Victorians yep. accessorized with insects. Oh, they absolutely did. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you were seven for ten. I would have passed that class. Yeah. Very, very cool. There's this really cool book on Amazon, uh, not Amazon, on Audible. Stephen Fry actually narrates it, and he talks about secrets of Victorian era London. Yeah, and it was a fascinating listen. I really and I I thoroughly enjoy the Victorian era. I really love Jack the Ripper and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, Stephen Fry had talked about all kinds of like asinine weird things that you don't really think about. I believe, yeah. But it was very informative, and it was like it was secrets of Victorian London. And it's written by Stephen Fry. So if you're on very Audible, true. go check it out. It was nice. really good. All right, well, that's all we have for you guys tonight. Um, we were at Disney yesterday, like we said, and so uh, we did a little bit of filming there. So I might have a video for you next Monday instead yes. of But otherwise, we will have a live stream. We will be here. We'll have something on our YouTube channel, 8 p.m. Uh, next Monday night. Absolutely. So, if you enjoyed tonight's uh, uh, live stream with all of our tastings from the UK, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. And uh, consider subscribing to our channel. We actually do this quite regularly here. Over every Monday night, we do something. We have a video. We do a live stream. Yeah. And we do this Universal Yums bag every time it comes in. Right. So you can definitely subscribe to our channel. It's completely free to do so. And you can hit the little bell, and it'll let you know when we post a video. That's right. Absolutely. Um, you can also check out my website where I have all of my artwork. I have a new art print that's coming out very soon, and I'm These very excited These tumblers, if you're interested in them, they will be going on our website soon. So if you want them, this is where you go. They're going to be on tvartworks.com. That's right. And it'll be a first-come, first-served basis. So snatch it up while you can. Um, 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, also, check out Gretchen's Gretchen's shop yes. because uh, she also makes other things over there. All as of well. the tumblers I make that are not TV artworks you'll find on Von Cupcake Emporium. Right, and she has earrings and. Um, I actually make cake toppers. Cake too. toppers, yes. Yeah, I that's make, been super that's popular. That's very, very popular. I make custom cake toppers. I like to design spooky ones because that kind of stuff is really hard for people to find. So yeah. I, I do. Specializing those that, but are, I also make some that aren't spooky. Too. Those are definitely worth checking out on her on her shop. I sent, out, just fun I, to I look sent at. out a couple. I made some for weddings. Yeah, and I sent out a couple for a wedding coming just up. Fun so to it was look really at. exciting. It's yeah. really fun. So just definitely check us out. That's right. That's where you can find us. Uh, all of our social medias are under at Marvelous TNG. That's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. So all the um, things, the all TikToks. The, yeah, TikTok as well. Yep. So uh, and then we have. These are our Instagrams. You're welcome to join our personal Instagrams and follow along. And you can contact us if you want to commission a piece of work from us. Then we're happy to take care of you. That's right. But also don't be afraid to hit us up on this Instagram as well. That's, That's right. the Marvelous TNG related to all the YouTube or uh, video stuff that we the do. The The tubes. Yes. So uh, that is all that we have for you guys tonight. And so we thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. Wow, it's a long one tonight. Yeah. We had a lot to get through. Yeah. We had a lot to do. Well, so, well thank you for sticking around with us. We had a really a good time with you. And we will see you next week. That's right, guys. Until, Bye. until next time. Bye-bye.